Violence is a really big uh, issue in the Pacific just in general. So domestic violence, family violence, violence against women and violence against children. And I think there are um, social norms and behaviours which back up the feeling that uh, traditional sort of methods of parenting and disciplining that it's okay to use physical force. Three of the top five um, countries globally where adolescent boys think it's okay or justifiable to beat their wives. Three of the top five are Pacific Island countries. Every Pacific country has actually signed up or ratified the Convention on the Rights of the Child but none of them are fully compliant. Governments need to take a lead sometimes on these types of issues. Religious leaders need to play a part in this. Trying to convene community leaders, religious experts, practitioners, um, school teachers to all come together and talk about the fact that there's a human right at stake here where children have a right to not be um, physically or mentally um, abused. So many children don't know that they have a right not to be hit. It's also where education around services, so where can you go if, for example, your teacher is abusing you, who can you tell in a safe environment. So that kind of communication for development um, work is really important. Years ago, say a majority of New Zealanders thought that it was okay in some settings to be able to smack their child for disciplinary, disciplinary um, measures. And that number is now significantly reduced and I think part of that is people understanding not just the child rights argument but also the alternatives to being able to discipline their children. So global economic cost of violence they're saying is up to US seven trillion dollars. In New Zealand it's two billion dollars per annum. So, you know, as well as the deep-rooted social um, problems that violence against children causes, it's also an economic problem and once you start making those arguments, you start to kind of see, um, you know, action being taken by governments to resolve this issue. So, what we're mandated to do really is to ensure that the rights of children are protected. The response to violence against children needs to happen at every level of society. So, it's children themselves, it's parents, it's teachers, it's communities, it's religious leaders. There's a long way to go in terms of uh, this issue affecting children in the Pacific.